¿Qué queremos? Justicia. ¿Cuándo? Ahora. ¿Qué queremos? Justicia. ¿Cuándo? Ahora. ¿Qué queremos? Justicia. ¿Cuándo? Ahora. Some people would consider this the border to paradise, a paradise where you are able to succeed based on your hard work. But for some people, it can be an opening to hell, where not only are they held back by environmental hazards, but by their fellow human neighbors pushing them back because they wish not to share the paradise they take for granted. Overcoming such obstacles such as 100 degree weather, dehydration, heat exhaustion, and even freezing temperatures may seem daunting for some, but for others, the risk of dying in pursuit of happiness is just an afterthought. In their minds, what really matters is saving their families from poverty. So what is an immigrant to do when having to face such deep and hard obstacles? Well, luckily for them, every paradise has its angels. When things look hopeless, where is an immigrant to look? Many immigrants coming through the countryside find help from the Border Angels, a nonprofit organization that gives out basic needs to help immigrants survive. Enrique Morones, head and founder of the Border Angels, is a devoted human rights activist. He has been featured on many major news shows that include CNN and NBC's Today Show. This is a program that I started back in 1986, and it was, um, I used to go down to Tijuana all the time and bring blankets and, and food, like a lot of people do to help our brothers and sisters. And this friend of mine said, hey Enrique, why don't you bring things to the migrants that live in San Diego? So we started going to the canyons and, and bringing food and water to them back in 1986, and it was to help our brothers and sisters because we're all the same race, the human race, and we thought it was important to do that. This wall has caused more than 10,000 deaths. It's very sad. So that's why we started Border Angels, and we've just grown and grown since we started back in 1986. Border Angels, our, our mission statement is very clear. If I was hungry, did you give me to eat? If I was thirsty, did you give me to drink? That comes from uh, Matthew, from the book of Matthew 25, 35. And that's our mission statement, that, you know, let's help our fellow man. Help our fellow man, and, and it, it, I don't care what country they're from or what their economic level, we're all human beings and that's what we're trying to do, help our fellow man. We started here in San Diego and then we started going to the East County, North County, Tijuana, Baja California. We also have gone into Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, along the 10 state border area. But we don't only put water out there, we also visit the migrants that live in the canyons. We also do events like we did today to remember the, the deaths on the border. Last year in February, we went from San Diego to Washington, D.C., and we asked people to take to the streets and march. March against 4437, and you saw that three and a half million people marched. So we're all over the country. Well, I think it's important to help our fellow man. We're all of the same race, the human race, and it's important that we practice what we preach about loving our neighbor. These are our brothers and sisters, and it's important that we try to help out our fellow man, and each one of us can make a big difference. I believe that the person that's going to make the big difference is that person that you see in the mirror every morning. You don't have to wait for a big name like Cesar Chavez or Mother Teresa. They were ordinary people that did extraordinary things. But each one of us can make a big difference. If each one of us does, our, does, you know, does a little bit, this will, this will make this a better world. That's the way that I think we can make a difference, by saving one person at a time. Well, the future goals is that we won't have to continue to do this in the future because if we do tear down this wall, if we do treat our neighbors with dignity and respect, if we do build bridges of communication instead of triple fences of separation, this will be a better world.